hi guys I have another get ready with me and this one's going to be kind of um, bronzy and sun kissed because I've just put my tan on and I have filmed um, not kind of how I put the tan on but I filmed kind of a before and after and I'm going to do a review once I have my makeup on um, unfortunately it doesn't seem to kind of show up so well on camera how tan I actually am when I did the before and after they didn't look tremendously different but in real life I'm a lot darker anyway um, I have some products here that I want to show you that are really, really similar to slightly more expensive products that I really like, but they are cheaper. Uh, so I'm excited about that one. I was just going to use the regular ones and then I thought, no, I think I have some that are kind of almost dupes and one of them is new, so I really want to try that. Uh, but as always, I'm going to start with foundation and the one I'm using still is the CoverGirl Outlast. A few people asked what shade I am in, this, and it is Classic Ivory. I still haven't tried the Max Factor one, so I can't tell you. Um, how it compares or what shade I would be in that, but I will try it soon. It's just it's pretty expensive. The Max Factor whole range is like pretty pricey and since I already have this one I don't really want to kind of go out and spend another like £12 or so on a foundation. However, before this one runs out I definitely will get that one because um, I want to kind of compare them while well, I have both of them. Also, I know that this foundation is not going to match my skin right now because I have just tanned, but I just tend to kind of bronze to blend everything rather than wear a different colour foundation because you just don't know, as it wears away, I feel like I would only wear a different colour foundation on like the day one of applying my tan. As it wears away, I feel like everything's going to look a bit not matching. Whereas if I kind of bronze my face and neck a little bit, then even as that fades in a different way to my body, it should still kind of blend. Um, okay, concealer wise, I'm just gonna put a little bit of this under my eyes and it's the Instant Age Rewind um, and it's the brightening one. Oh, here it is. Um, I feel like it does say, oh, it says underneath that it's brightening. I don't think that we can get this in the UK. I have the regular one, um, which I did get here, but I got this while we were in New York in January and I haven't seen it in the UK and I've looked online but let me know if you've seen it because this is really really nice and I definitely would like to get another one of these when it runs out because it's just it's so much more brightening than the regular concealer and although I wouldn't use this necessarily as a regular concealer in other places on my face under my eyes there is nothing quite like it I'm also going to show you the sleep brow stylist in this video, although I'm not totally in love with it, I feel like for those of you that wanted me to review it, I'll kind of give you a mini review within this video. Um, I recently picked up on your suggestion the Healthy Balance um, powder from Bourjois. I've never tried a Bourjois powder, but oh my god, it smells so nice. Oh, it smells just like the foundations. I haven't used um, a Bourjois foundation in the longest time either. I really want to try their new kind of hybrid serum healthy mix but this just so reminds me of a couple of years ago when I was like completely obsessed with Healthy Mix. As we all were, really, I suppose. But I really like that and I do think that it does pretty well uh, kind of keeping me matte. I'm gonna do my eyebrows now. Um, like I say, I'm gonna use the Sleek, the sleek Brow Stylist. I've got something in my eye. Um, but I'm not a big fan of this. I probably will redo my eyebrows before I go out later on because I just, I'm just, just don't love this. Um, it's not, it's kind of too big. The whole thing is a bit thick and too big, but most of all, it's too waxy and it doesn't give enough color. Um, I mean, if you've seen my other Get Ready With Me videos, you'll see how quickly I can do my eyebrows with the Smashbox style. Already, it's kind of like, it's sticking my eyebrows together, or eyebrows, the hairs of my eyebrows, I suppose. Sticking the little hairs together and making it kind of, you can see how it's clumping the wax. I just want to show you that close up to see if it'll show you. Can we see? I don't know. My eyes have gone funny. I don't know where am I focused there. I don't know if you can actually see what I'm talking about, but it's like it kind of glues the hairs to my skin rather than just colouring and filling it. And it's like. I just, I'm really not a fan of this product. I'm so disappointed because so many of you told me I was gonna love it and I just think what I want from an eyebrow product is so specific. Because everyone seems to love this and I just cannot get along with it. I would need like a powder on top of this because it doesn't fill in my brows enough. And just the wax, it may as well be just wax. 
I think probably after this video I'll never use this again. Mm. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that that wasn't kind of um, a recommendation by any means. It's not something that I necessarily would use again, but I wanted to show you it kind of in action. Uh, so the bronzer I'm going to use is this, and it's the Honey Bronzer in Light. And the one that I have been using is this one from Too Faced. And to be quite honest, I don't think this is mega expensive. I think it's maybe like £21-ish. I could be wrong. And then I think that this is 13 again. Everything was kind of 40% off when I bought the Body Shop stuff, so I can't totally remember how much things were, but I feel like unless I totally love this... I probably would pay the extra for the Too Faced. Let's see how much is actually in the product. We have... Okay, the Body Shop one doesn't tell me, but I have 10 grams of product in this one. This, I don't know if it's just kind of like an illusion, but I feel like there's more in this one. But I do know products like to trick you. But this looks so cute with the little honeycomb. So I'm just gonna... Hopefully, if there's anything actually comes off. I've seen... I didn't actually realise you could get different... Um, yeah, that's coming off, isn't it? Uh, you could get different shades of this. I just thought there was like one honey bronzer and it came and I was like, woo, that's pretty light. <laughs> but I think that's okay. I'm pretty pale, obviously because I'm tanned at the moment. I could do with maybe it being a touch darker. I think it's coming off slightly darker on camera. But it's actually quite light. Yeah. I like that. You know, you don't get the chocolate smelling beautifulness, but... I do really, really like that. So I'm going to bronze a little bit and then I'm going to show you... I don't know if I should even... like Both of the products that I'm going to show you now, both the um, kind of cheaper one and the more expensive one, neither of them are available. That kind of sucks, doesn't it? I'm sorry about that, but they're my favourites. And the cheaper one I've shown you a few times because I've liked it for a long time. Okay. I think that's probably glowy enough, bearing in mind that I used my normal um, foundation shade. Okay, so, I'm recently besotted with MAC Stereo Rose. This is beautiful, absolutely amazing, love it, but limited edition, constantly out of stock. Um, when it comes back, it kind of sells out straight away, which is why when I could get it, I was like, I have to have it. I didn't even want it at that time, and since then, I've been like all over it. Um, and the similar kind of product that I'm going to use instead is... Ooh, is this one and it's from Accessorize and I've looked online and I cannot find this. Have Accessorize discontinued their entire makeup line or is it just these baked bronzers? I don't know. Um, but they're baked products, they're baked eyeshadows, they're baked blushes and their baked bronzers are amazing and I'm going to use this one to give me my kind of glow. I'm not going to use um, a blush, I'm just going to kind of use this on my cheeks. I'm going to use the peachy side of it rather than blending them together. I'm going to use the slightly darker side and I have used this so much. I've probably had this for like two years, which probably is why you can't get it anymore, because it's so old. But if you can get anything like this, I tell you another place that does something similar, Beauty UK, do gorgeous baked blushes. This doesn't give you half as much kind of colour. I dyed my hair today. I don't know if you can see that, but I've got a slight mark there from where I <laughs> a little bit of the dark dye. Oops. Got a bit of a stain on my face. I'll just blend that a little bit. Um, yeah, where was I going with that? Oh yeah, Beauty UK do some really, really nice ones as well. I have a one called Halo that's a beautiful highlight, uh, but they do some nice kind of bronzy and colourful colours as well. Yeah, that doesn't give quite as much colour as the Stereo Rose, but I think it's nice and, you know, if you can get it, it's a, a much, much cheaper version and, and you can potentially actually get that one, although I don't know if that's actually the case or not. Um, eyes. Now... I have been using this Comfort Zone palette from Wet n Wild a lot recently, but I know that it's a bit difficult to find. If I can find a seller online, I know Amazon and eBay, you'll always be able to find someone that sells them. Um, I will link it below. It's beautiful and definitely worth buying, even if it's kind of more expensive um, because we have to ship it over here. But a similar one I have is this one, which I think is called Adventure? Adventurous uh, from Revlon. And it has similar kind of colours in it. Um, and I'm going to kind of recreate the look that I've been wearing a lot recently with this palette. So, I'm going to use this big brush. It's an oval shadow brush from um, Crown Brushes. Let's zoom in a little bit, shall we? I'm going to use this kind of pale colour.
colour. It's almost like a golden iridescent in actual fact. It doesn't give a lot of colour but it's very golden. I absolutely love this. I used to wear this all the time. I bought it because I was going to do kind of a full Revlon look. Um, I would never have bought a quad from Revlon necessarily before. Um, but it was just, I still have something in my eye, how annoying. Um, but I totally fell in love with it. I really, I should buy some more because they're gorgeous. Uh, then I'm going to use, where is it? I love this brush for crease. I think it's a shadow brush. But everything's worn away. I think this is the shadow brush from Real Techniques. And I'm going to use the green colour, this one. In my crease. And I've been doing a very, very similar look with the Comfort Zone palette from Wet n Wild. The Comfort Zone palette is just, it's just such amazing value. If you can get it, I mean, I know that I've heard that um, there's been Wet n Wild in, I want to say, Ireland and other places in Europe. And fingers crossed, that means that it's on its way. But I haven't heard anything about that. Fingers crossed, though, because it really is just the most amazing um, budget brand. But, like, NYX in the States is so cheap and it's come over here and it's pretty expensive. It's not like I, I am yet to buy anything and it's almost readily available to me because it's in my uh, recent, or my local, sorry, next store. I'm kind of disappointed because it's not as cheap as it should be and I feel a little bit hard done by buy it. Like, when you could buy it online as well, in the UK it was so expensive and I always thought, well, you know... That's probably because it's shipping from the US, but now it's actually in stores and it's like bourgeois or Revlon prices and I think it should be more like, I don't know, MUA or Collection 2000 at the very least. Um, so that's pretty much it. And the only other thing I'm going to do is this little step, which I've been obsessed with. I'm going to use this little bronzy brown colour for that. Um, I don't know if they have, no, they have like one, two, three, four on the back, no actual shade names. And I'm going to go underneath. I must have been filming too long because my camera cut out. I think it's like 12 minutes or something. And it decides, no, you don't need to be filming for that long. And it's probably right. I don't know where to look when I'm doing this. Probably easy to do it in the viewfinder. But yeah, I, I totally stole this from Chelsea Wears. She does this kind of under eye smudge. And I don't watch anyone's tutorials ever um, but she was the one that inspired me to do kind of get ready with me videos in this kind of style rather than um, tutorial videos with like music and trying to make it all snazzy and whatever because seriously I have nothing to teach you all I can tell you is this is what I've been doing recently this is what I'm enjoying these are the products that I like I have no particular skill and so tutorials always felt a little bit why am I doing this and even though there were requests that I felt a bit daft doing them so I way prefer this format and I love to watch videos in this format. I love kind of a long chatty video where someone's just talking about makeup and certain techniques they've been using recently and that was one that I learned from her and she looks amazing all the time. Um, then I'm going to use this which is the Rimmel Scandalize Nude Eyeliner and that is the only eyeliner I have been using. I'm going out for the evening later. I might even film another get ready with me, who knows, see how much time I have. Um, but when I go out for the evening later I will definitely put a little bit more of something on, but kind of for day to day I feel like this has been, it's just, it makes me look so much more awake, it looks crazy right now, I need some mascara, um, but it looks, it makes me look so much kind of more awake and my eyes to be a bit wider and I love it. Oh and this is the Revlon Photo Ready 3D Volume. I've spoken about this before, I could probably do my eyebrows and my mascara all day long. All day long. I have no idea what I'm going to use in the way of lipstick, but I have in front of me this. Mm. Maybe I'll wear a lip butter. Maybe. I never put my lipsticks with the rest of my makeup. This is where I do my makeup now, is um, in my bedroom, in case you didn't know from behind me. It is in my bedroom. And 
I mean, it was always in my bedroom, but I have my vanity and everything in it, so I have everything kind of laid out in front of me. But my lipstick storage is still in my makeup room where I usually film videos. Or not recently, you know, I've been more filming in here, and I think that when spring summer hits, I do tend to come in here because the natural light is better. Whereas in kind of like autumn, winter time, uh, and even spring to be honest sometimes, and even summer, but when we have kind of no natural light, um, I tend to go in there because I have my light box set up. And everything's kind of, I like filming in there because I can just leave everything. So I don't have to tidy things up after I've filmed. I can just like leave them and go. Okay. I seriously can't leave my eyelashes alone. Just a few more. I love this mascara. It just, it's just amazing. Also, I do find that whereas once upon a time I would wear my big thick liquid liner, and I still do sometimes, um, it's one of my go-to looks, but I would wear it to kind of make my eyelashes look thicker. In actual fact, it didn't make them look thicker at all because it was kind of diminishing. They had to kind of peek over the top of the liquid liner for you to see them at all. And they don't generally do that. And like in 10 minutes, these will have dropped and blah, but whatever. Anyway, I think I can zoom out a little bit now. Um, so, whew, let's use a Revlon lip butter. Um, the one that I've been really, really excited about trying is this one. No, that's not it. Where is it? I'm looking for Peach Parfait and... Oh, there it is. Peach Parfait. Or maybe I should use Tutti Frutti because, you know, that's kind of summery, isn't it? Arr. Okay, I hate those stickers. Arr. Brian, okay. Oh, wow, that is the most beautiful. It's got kind of golden shimmer running through it. How did I not have this one before? Okay, I'll use this. So, dry run with peach parfait. Like it. The gold almost gives it kind of a frost, which is not something I usually look for, but I like it. I like it. Okay, I'm done. So that's kind of my like golden bronze shimmery kind of look to go with my tan. And my new slightly darker hair, which I will do a video on because I did film the process. I'm gonna put a little bit more dark kind of on the underneath because well, you'll see about that in the video. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little get ready with me. Um, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.